We've come north of Whataraa and this is the perfect spot to talk about some of the impacts of earthquakes that we may not immediately think of because the shaking causes so much damage but Carolyn there's a lot of things that happen after the earthquake as well like landslides. That's right yeah I think mostly we're worried about what that ground shaking is going to feel like but as you say when the ground shakes a lot of other things start to happen and so when you have mountains like our beautiful southern alps they get shaken and a lot of landslides will come down like we're seeing right here and all of that material comes down off the mountain it might for example go across a river and dam up a river uh, so you have to be aware of that if you live in these sorts of places but then over the longer term aftershocks and and heavy rain that starts to move a lot of this material down the hill and out out to sea. So talking about all that material and you can see a fair bit of it here that must impact the rivers for a long time. That's right so a big magnitude 8 earthquake will probably take decades uh, in terms of getting the landscape healed again or getting back to uh, some sort of normality. And you mentioned aftershocks, how long are they likely to go on for? Yeah well for those of you who are based in Christchurch you'll, you'll know all about this because the aftershocks during the Canterbury earthquakes went on for years after, afterwards and for a big magnitude 8 earthquake we would uh, suspect that aftershocks will carry on again for years and years afterwards. It might be up to 10 or 15 years of aftershock activity related to that main event. So it's certainly a lot to think about, the impacts on the people and the environment. Lots to consider. Thanks Carolyn. Thank you.